Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We give you praise wherever you are this morning under the sun. As we run up with God with wings as eagle, hallelujah, I want you to praise God and give him glory. I want you to exalt his name. I want you to observe the protocol of the Spirit, enter his gate with thanksgiving and his cut with praise. Give him praise this morning. Say, Lord, I give you all the praise. I magnify your good and holy name. I reference you, King of all kings. Yeah. For the next 30 minutes, we're going to be praying. And so therefore, let's give him praise. That our prayer will come before him like incense, the lifting up of our hands, like the evening sacrifice. Give him praise. Give him glory. Magnify him. Come before him. Say, Lord, I thank you. I thank you for your mercy. I thank you for your grace through my Lord Jesus Christ. I thank you for sanctifying me. That's setting me apart unto yourself through the precious blood, even the blood of Christ Jesus. Thank you. Thank you for making me your own. Thank you because it's because I'm in your camp. That's why my prayer is not an abomination before you. And thank you because I'm yours. Thank you because when I pray, I'm praying according to your will in Christ Jesus. Christ is the ultimate manifestation of the will of God the Father. And so when we pray through Christ Jesus, we're praying according to the will of God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. When we're praying the finished work of Christ, when we're praying the redemptive work of Christ, we're praying according to the good will of the Father. And when we pray according to his will, he hears us. At least the confidence we have that when he hears us, we have that petition of him. So give him praise this morning. Exalt him this morning. Magnify him this morning. Reference him this morning. Lift him up. Say, God, I'm grateful. I'm thankful. I give you all praise. I give you all glory. I give you all praise. I consciously, deliberately give you glory, give you honor, give you all praise and all adorations. King of kings, you are. Lord of lords, you are. Mighty God of Israel, the God of Zion, the God of the church. Well, thank you. Well, thank you. Well, thank you. And blessed be your name, O God. In Jesus' precious name, the 41 chapter of the book of Isaiah, it said, The poor and the needy seek water, but there's none. You know, and their tongue fails for test. Say, but my case is different. And God said, but there are some who we call upon him. So, uh, you know, what we established, you know, on, on Wednesday is that prayer can change situations. You know, because what prayer does is to bring God attention on the matter and bring God intervention in the situation. And so when we pray, say, and I, the Lord, will hear them. And I, God of Israel, will not forsake them. Hallelujah. So prayer brings God into the matter. Prayer brings God on the scene. And God said, oh, no, the thing I'm going to do is to open up waters in height and in desolate height and fountain in the midst of the valley and today look at what god said he's going to do i will make the wilderness a pool of water amen abandoned um ground is the wilderness uncultivated ground you know sort of ground that had been written off for the beast of, of of the field and suddenly god said you know what i'm going to cause water to spring up there and dry land spring of water hallelujah because as long as it is wilderness it's not cultivated as long as it's wilderness it's not yielding result it's like a taking over piece of land taken over by the beast of the field i, I want us to look into the realm of our life this morning whatsoever area seems to have been taken over wrongly, whatsoever area seems to be unproductive, uncreative, not yielding fruit, God said, I'm causing the pool of water to spring up there for you. Amen. And much more so, God said, no more dry ground. So can we lift them before Jesus this morning? Say in the name of Jesus, is the good will of God that the pool of water. You see, you know, because he said this wilderness represents a, a poor place. He said the poor and the needy. So that wilderness represents the poor place of life, the poor place of destiny. You know, somebody can have all the wilderness of certificate, all the wilderness of qualification, and yet no, you no result, no fruitfulness, nothing. 
all the wilderness of beauty, but no, no, no relationship, all the wilderness of uh, career struggling, but no, no fruit to show for it. God said, I'm causing water to spring, pool of water to spring up there for you this season of your life. Will you call upon him and say, Lord, you said no more needy, no more poor, no more tongue failing for thirst because you will cause pool to flow in my wilderness in the name of Jesus. I want us to talk to God about the wilderness. Say, break your fallow ground. Every fallow ground of destiny, every, every place that has been taken over by the beast of the field, Every everything that look, the wilderness, you know, is such a place. Is in, in fact, most of the time, it's always unclaimed. Like the wilderness of Zin, when children of Israel were coming from 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 Egypt, they were in the wilderness for forty years. Not so much did anybody ask them, "What are you doing here?" What you because it's unclaimed, it's on it's uncultivatable, uncultivated ground. Their area of life like that, somebody is dealing with this morning. In the name of Jesus, that God will cause pool of water to spring forth there. Where failure had been properly established, where abandonment had happened before, in the name of Jesus in my life, Lord, that you would cause pool of water that we attract investment, that we attract interest, that we attract glory, that we attract help, that we attract favor to spring forth there. Once the pool of water shows up in the wilderness, people start developing interest in it. I pray in the name of Jesus that the pool of water will spring up in somebody's wilderness this season. Somebody will take interest in marriage in that wilderness. Somebody will take interest of giving job to that wilderness. Somebody will take interest of giving contract to that wilderness. Something will spring forth. Failure will be a thing of the past in that wilderness. Will you call upon God? No area of our life is supposed to be abandoned to the wilderness. God said there's no room for that needy, poor, thirsty, punk, feeling face of destiny again. He said it will cause a pool of water to spring forth, to flow forth in our wilderness, in the mighty name of Jesus. O Jehovah. That's why Christ came. That he may break the fallow ground. That he may have, that we may have life. That we may have it more abundantly. In the name of Jesus Christ. Will you call upon him this morning? In the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus Christ, in Jesus' precious name we pray. So if you don't know any scripture about wilderness, you will know Isaiah in the 40th chapter, I said, and uh, I had a voice crying saying, it's, 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 and what, 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 said, what shall I cry? I said, the voice of him that is crying in the wilderness. He said, and um, he said, what does was that voice? He said, prepare ye the way of the Lord. Amen. He said, all mountains shall be lowered. All valley shall be lifted. Crooked way shall be made straight. And the rough edges shall be smoothened. And all I shall see the glory of the Lord. Isaiah and chapter 40. You know, the verses from verse um, um, from, from, from verse 4 downward. See, so which means what characterizes wilderness are unmitigated mountain, unassailable valley, rough edges, and uh, crooked way. And God said, I can visit it. Amen. Hallelujah. I said, unmitigated mountains. Yeah, on the uh, unnavigatable, you know, valleys, the rough edges of life, and the crooked. Crooked with the word crooked in the scripture means something that is not straight, that is so it's difficult to navigate. See, see, and those characterizes wilderness. And God said, I'm visiting it. Will you say, Lord, visit the wilderness for me? In the name of Jesus Christ, uh, that the mountains might be lowered, that the valleys might be lifted, and the crooked way might be made straight, and the rough edges. Some of you are dealing with the rough edges. Oh, yes, Lord. Well, I know you smile. I know you put up uh, the makeup. I know you, you put up the macho, man. But, you know, the, the edges are rough, uh, cutting you, cutting you, bruising you. But God said, uh, the vo there's a voice crying. You see, the voice of one crying in the wilderness. Uh, now cry and say, in the name of Jesus, you say you will make pool of water, pool of satisfaction, pool of breakthrough, 
pool of resort to show up in my wilderness. So the mountains will be lowered. The valleys will be lifted. The rough edges will be smoothened. The crooked way will be made straight. And all eyes shall see the glory of the Lord in my life. In the name of Jesus Christ. This is the season. This is that time. Lift up your head, O ye gates. Lift them up everlasting door. That the King of glory may have his way in my wilderness. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Call upon God this morning. In Jesus' precious name, we pray. Let's slip into the body, second body of that prayer. And he said, And dry land with spring of water. That's very, that, that you can easily relate with. Dry land, dry of idea. Dry has idea, dry of execution. Uh, you know, want to execute dry of helper. You know, has helper, dry of you know, except the Lord build the house. Even if everybody helps to build it, they will still labor in vain. And God said, No more dry land. Will you get let's let's push in that this morning? Say in the name of Jesus Christ, no more nobody wants to dwell in dry, patch, salty land where nothing grows. And deep plucant anzivraia. And this represents the ground of destiny. Every dry ground of destiny, Lord, turn it to spring of water for me this, this season. In the name of Jesus, every dry ground where there's no oasis, where there's no comfort, where there's no satisfaction, is always testing, always testing. Things are never enough. Help is never forthcoming. In the name of Jesus, it's always wearisome. It's always sweaty. It's always that kind of a place. Somebody has found himself from birth till now. In the name of Jesus, Son of the living God, turn my dry ground to spring of water. Oh, Jehovah, turn the dry ground of destiny to spring of water for me. Turn the dry ground of destiny to spring of help. Let help spring up for me. Let favor spring up for me. Let assistance spring up for me. Let ideas spring up in me. Let supernatural help and assistance. Let my steps spring into motion. In the park, Tamaya, Breuse, Fred, Mel Goody, Rika, Manka, Tapa, Saka, Manope, Efremene, Pei, Break. Koda, Maraski Pori Imbre Igdi Ale, Japala Manambre Ukis Katiri, Ere Shapiele Quapandra Iniama, Mazuzoka, Mante Levia Quapeka, Jagurga Boke Tekri Egadia Mesusa. You need to pray. This is the time to push for, you know, it's prayer you need to, to pray. You know, it's, you know, many of you, what you think you need is not what you need. What you need is for God to visit your dry ground and let it spring. Every dry ground has potential to spring with water. Every dry ground. Amen. In Jesus' precious name, listen to me. Every dry ground has the potential, the capacity to spring forth with water. There's no dry ground in itself. All it needs is divine visitation. There's no dry destiny. There's nobody who is not lucky. There's no, there's no body. All we need is just the visitation of God to manifest. Say, all I need is for your visitation to manifest. So good thing can spring out like water out of my life. Lord, do it. This is good thing, good result, success, excellence can spring out of my life. Jehovah, I'm not a written of dry ground. I'm not a written of wilderness. Pool of water can manifest. Spring, spring of result can show up. I'm not too old for that. I'm not too young for that. I'm not too masculine for that. I'm not too feminine for that. I'm not too black for that. I'm not too white for that. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. All I need is visitation of heaven. Lord, the dry ground. To spring with water. The dry ground. The unproductive, uncreative ground. To spring forth with water. Water of solution. Water of assistance, water of help, water of healings. In the name of Jesus, let the dry ground of destiny spring forth for me. Oh Lord, will you call upon God this morning? Pray, 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 pray. Call upon God. Nobody is praying for anybody. You open your mouth and pray for yourself. Pray for yourself. Say, pray, open your mouth and pray for yourself. Don't, don't, don't come to the prayer with uh, the plate of a uh, please pray for me. No, pray for yourself. Open your mouth. Jesus is here to answer you and hear you in the name of Jesus. Oh God of all, all flesh, 
open up for me spring of water in dry ground. My job is a dry ground. Open spring of breakthrough for me there. My body is feeling like a dry ground, not producing the kind of result I want. Lord, open up spring of water for me there. My finance feels like a dry ground. Lord, open up spring of supply for me there. My spiritual life feels like a dry ground. Lord, open up spring of flow there for me. That's what I want you to go ahead and call upon God this morning. Don't type, uh, please pray for me on the prayer panel. Pray, pray for yourself. Open your mouth. You have mouth. Open your mouth and pray. In Garuzi, Ka, Yadi, Malaysh, Merak, Pandi. The prayer platform is for you to come and pray, not for us to be praying for you. We'll open your mouth and pray in the name of Jesus. God is closer to you where you are right now than you can imagine. Call upon Him. Say, God, in the name of Jesus, turn my dry ground to spring of water of solution. Turn my dry ground in the name of Jesus. No more dry ground. Turn it to spring, the dry ground of my physical body. Turn it spring of healing. Let it manifest. The dry ground of my womb. Turn it spring of creativity and productivity in the name of Jesus. The dry ground in my, of my wife, of my husband's body. Lord, turn it to spring. Let's give us our own child. Lord, do it. You said even when tongue has failed, because there is none. The doctors have, have tried, but the tongue has failed. We've, got, we've done CT scan, we've done MRI, they've given us injection, we've been hormone therapy, we've done all kind of things, yet the result is not, we're not pregnant. Lord, the time has come for you to turn this dry ground to the to, to, to spring of conception. Call upon God this morning. Call upon God this morning. Open your mouth and pray. In the name of Jesus. Levo shakarama hangadies zenofre ni aliapani aribuni in the name of Jesus Lord sapuria gataye ni ketea in Jesus precious name we pray amen. let's just take it in three dimension the dry ground of the spirit amen you know he said the Lord will sanctify you may the Lord sanctify your spirit soul and body so your spirit I want us to, I want you to be intentional about the praying say Heavenly Father in the name of Jesus, the dry ground of the spirit, of my spirit, turn it to spring of what? Spring of wisdom, spring of knowledge, spring of flow of the spirit, spring of power of God at work in the life of a man. He said, is anybody testing? He said, in the last day, Jesus stood in, and, and cried. He said, if anybody is testing, he said, up, let him come say, out of his belly shall spring rivers of living water. Lord, visit my spirit with spring. Spring of waters of healing and of life. Spring of water of the spirit. You need that much more than you think you need money. You need the, the visitation of your spirit. Most of the time, the spirit of the man sustains his infirmity, his lack, his want, his need. But a broken spirit who can bear. So you need that. You need the visitation in your spirit more than in your pocket. You need the visitation in your spirit more than in your womb. You need the visitation in your spirit more than in your body. Because when your spirit is properly visited, by the spring of rivers of the spirit from heaven, something will shift. Let the spring of rivers of life visit flow in my spirit afresh. Lord, take broken spirit away. Bring healing in the spirit. He said, a broken spirit who can bear. The spirit of a man will sustain his infirmity. In the mighty name of Jesus. The effectual fervent prayer of the righteous man make power available first of all in the spirit. Tremendous in his working and dynamic in his in his in his in his delivery. You understand now? James and chapter 5. The factual fervent prayer of the righteous man availeth much. So there must be an availing in the spirit for you. Let there be spring. Let the river, let the water spring in my spirit. In a mokotelia, a gate, pradatisa. Enough of dryness of the spirit. What most Christians are dealing with today are just their spirit are just dry, dry spirit, very dry spirit, very very buoyant body, very very um, conversational soul, but very dry spirit, tiny spirit, you know, past spirit, dragging train of body and of soul, you know, and is wearisome. But receive enabling in your spirit this day. And the most who said, Yabahiri, Yanova Bukoshiri Eketea, 
Your body can be trained. Your soul is full of idea, like train, like wagons of train. But your spirit is just one tiny car with one, you know, very few uh, horsepower of, 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 of engine. It can't drag it. It to be dragged. So receive. Now, what my need to share said something about the helping of the spirit. Everywhere your spirit is helping. Everywhere your spirit is dragging. That God of heaven will visit with spring of life. Say, Lord, spring, spring in my spirit, in my spirit, in my spirit. Depression must leave your spirit. Discouragement must leave your inner man. That God will stretch you with might by his spirit in your inner man. That from your inner man you will comprehend with all things. That you are not a victim, that you are not disadvantaged. You will comprehend the love of God, the width, the breadth, the length of God's love. You will know the love of Christ that this knowledge that Christ will be formed in your heart by faith and you'll be filled with the good fullness of God. We are the who the in the name of Jesus Christ. Call upon God this morning with your own mouth in Jesus' precious name. Spring of water in your soul. Say spring of water of the spirit. The water of blessing, of idea, of light in my soul. Your soul includes your intellect or your faculty, your center for decision making or your will, and your emotion. May spring. God said, I will, I will let that dryness in your soul end. Say it will end. I wish above all sin that you prosper. I'm being good at even as your soul prosper. So actually, uh, how well you do on heart is actually a direct reflection of how well your soul does. That's why unbelievers too can prosper. Because they have soul that can prosper. Jesus says so. He said, What will it profit a man to gain the whole world and trade his soul for it? So an unbeliever can trade his soul for things he wants. But you don't need to trade your own. Say, I don't need to trade my own. All I need is for my soul to prosper. So when my soul prospers, every other thing will move along that direction. Yeah. You can imagine when your intellect, your mind prosper, your, your will, you, you are making the right decision, the right choices. Of course, you're going to do well in life. Your emotion is, is prospering. You are not beaten down, beaten, battered, tattered down, depressed, subjugated, discouraged, pressed down by circumstances. Right now you are springing to life. It gets all hard. You keep going. You keep moving forward. You will do well. You will do well. It's not therefore I rejoice that, I, that my children are walking in light. My scripture. I want you to say in the name of Jesus, Heavenly Father, the dryness in my soul is enough. Help me. You now, one of the things God will help you with is to let the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of Him help your soul with understanding so that you will comprehend, you will understand the hope of His calling, you will walk in it, the riches of His inheritance, and you will open up your soul for the inflow of the power of the Spirit. So you are now an engine, an engine room of heaven on earth. Idea that we walk, not just some idea flying in your head like butterfly. Steps that we deliver results. Hallelujah. Your will is conquered by heaven. Hallelujah. Say my will, conquered by heaven. Not roaming the hell of the earth. Not at all. Hallelujah. My intellect, sanctified common sense, you know what to do. Blake here to seek Paramayandi. Call upon God this morning. Say, therefore, let it spring. Let there be spring. What of wisdom? Let there be spring. What of ideas? What of direction? And ideas and decision and judgment and the right emotion, joy and happiness, all manner of help in the name, in my soul. In my soul. Come upon God. In your soul. You cannot prosper in any career more than your soul. Prosper in that career, brothers and sisters. No matter. So when we pray like this, the prayer will download the necessary thing to your soul. If it's not downloaded to your soul, nothing will happen. The response of your soul to issues of life is what shows that your prayer has been answered or you have received answered from God. Jehoshaphat and the whole of Israel, of Israel were faced with a tremendous battle against children of Amnon, of Moab, and of Monsir. One ratio 10, they had one rank, 1.100. 1.1 million army, the Jehoshaphat and Judah had just 100,000. Then they prayed. How did we know? They are so prosper. That's how we know their prayer was answered. Because immediately after the prayer, Jehoshaphat knew what to do. 
he set the priest in front and the potter in front to start blowing the trumpet and start singing of the of the um, beauty of holiness before the army of the Lord. They, they had their sword behind them and eventually God set ambushment against the children of Moab and, Mount, and of Amnon and of Mount Seir. And for three days they were taking spoil of war. What we are saying is this. The response of my soul is what shows that my, I am really praying and my prayer is reaching heaven. So let God cause answer to spring forth in your soul this season. Your soul, your, you will just know what to do. When Anna prayed, which is a spiritual engagement in Shiloh, how do we know? She went back and cleansed herself and ate and went home. How many years she had a child? Hallelujah. She will show, your soul will respond in such a way that will show that answer has sprang up for you before heaven this morning. Will you call upon God? Say, talk my soul, oh God, with spring from heaven. And Christian doesn't go to place of prayer and confusion and come out in confusion again. No. In the name of Jesus. Lord, let there be a springing forth in my soul of result, of peace that flows like a river of, of judgment, of, 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 of judgment, of wisdom, of what to do in the name of Jesus. The right emotional response in the name of jesus christ lord help me let my soul prove that there's been a visitation of the spring of heaven spring of results spring of results spring of answer from heaven call upon god this morning call upon god this morning in the name of jesus spring spring i spring forth in jesus precious name let's quickly check the third entity which is god said i would cause the dry land i would Cause there to be spring of water and dry land. The dry land of your body, the works of your hand, the fruit of your body. Say in the works of my hand and in the fruit of my body, say no more dry land. Say, Lord, let there be spring of results in the work of my hand and everyone trusting God for healing in your body or fruit of the womb. This is the time to call upon God. Spring, let healing spring up in my body. Let conception spring up in my womb, Jehovah. In the veloze. Call upon God this morning. Let healing spring up in my body. Let results spring up in my hand. In the name of Jesus. Let the dry ground of my body say, Don't he said, let not the son of stranger who join himself to the Lord say, I'm a dry tree again. Now you have joined yourself to the Lord. You are no more a dry tree. You are no more a dry tree. You are no more uncreative, unproductive. You are no more barren. That's what we are saying. Say, I'm no more barren. Spring, spring, spring. Let results spring forth in my body. Let results spring forth in my body. In the name of the Lord Jesus, let results spring forth in my body. In the name of the Lord Jesus, let results spring forth in my body. In the name of the Lord Jesus, let results spring forth in my body. In the name of Jesus, let results spring forth in my body. Let results spring forth in my body. Lord, in the works of my hands, in the works of my hands. Let results spring forth. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the fruit of my body. Lord, no more dryness. So all the hormones and the enzymes and the muscular system and the skeletal system and the reproductive system and the, and the uh, respiration system and whatsoever digestive or circulatory system or whatever system, your, your central nervous system, where they say there is dryness, nothing is working, the pain is much. Lord say, Lord, let healing spring forth there this season. In the name of Jesus, I believe in God. I believe in Christ Jesus. I believe in God and, and I believe in His Christ. He said, now, now is the, uh, the, the kingdom and the power of our God and of His Christ. I believe in God and His Christ. And I say in the name of Jesus, let the dryness in my body end in the works of my hand and the fruit of my womb. If you are looking for fruit of the womb or it is healing in your body, you are trusting God for that dryness called sickness, that dryness called cancer, that dryness called, called dementia, that dryness called HIV, that dryness called hepatitis, that dryness called depression, that dryness, oh Lord, called mental breakdown. In the name of Jesus, let healing spring forth, oh God, today. 
in the makotope gribegeduya. Let healing spring forth today. Let healing spring forth today. That dryness called ovarian cyst, ovarian cancer, low sperm count, low sperm count, erectile dysfunction. Lord, let healing spring forth in the name of Jesus. That dryness called uh, um, um, high blood pressure. And, uh, and diabetes mellitus in the name of Jesus or diabetes in syphilis in the name of Jesus Christ whatsoever it is called whether it is named by any name name in heaven under the heaven or in the hell or it is a name that is to be revealed later it makes no difference diagnosed or undiagnosed let healing live in my body oh God and in the work of my hand let the water spring forth of result. Let the depths, let them be washed off. Let give me enabling of amen. Lord, let the failure, let it be washed off. Give me enabling of success. Lord, let the frustration, let them be washed off. Give me enabling of breakthrough. Oh God, call upon God this morning. Call upon God this morning. Call upon God this morning. Enabling of the spirit. Enabling by the spirit. Enabling by the hand of God, spirit, soul, and body, let there be springing of rivers of life, waters of life. Let my dry ground be watered for result. Let my dry ground cease being dry. Let my dry ground cease being dry. Oh God, oh yes, Lord, spirit, soul, and body, the works of my hand in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord, I hope you prayed. Go ahead, give God thanks if you know God heard you. Engaramaro shalabadiaze, Renier peca camono shibla egrabidiazes, Mereke moho fle edebeye. Give God praise, give God glory, give God praise, give God glory. Magnify the Lamb of God, He who lives forevermore. Give Him glory. Sanctify the Lord in your heart this morning. Sanctify the Lord in your heart this morning. Say, God, I praise your name. I thank you for hearing my prayer. In Jesus' marvelous name, we pray. God, it's a promise, and we believe it, that the wilderness, there will be a pool of water. And in every dry ground in anyone's life this morning, there will be visitation of springs, springs of merit, spring of healings, spring of supply, spring of, su of, of direction, supernatural springs. Causing the work of people's hands to stop. Making an idea to spring up in their soul, in their mind. Idea that will work. Springing of help for somebody. In the name of Jesus. Spring of healing in someone's body. Spring of creativity. Reproductive springing in every barren body. In the name of Jesus Christ. My King and my God, as your people have heard upon you. So do all of you heard in the name of Jesus. We thank you. I will give you all the praise and blessed be your name, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we we'll pray. Amen. All right. Um, I want you to enjoy your weekend. Glory to God. Unless you're in church on Sunday, if you are not physically in London, or you are not disposed to make it physically to church, let's see you online on YouTube, Dadem Church London, or on Facebook, Dadem Church London. And I want you to assess many of our resources there. There are teachings, short one, long one. And there are a lot of prayer links there. Short one like this 30 minutes, the one, one hour. There are some that are five hours that you can keep put in continuous play. And send them out to people. The New Testament concept of prayer. Prayer based on the finished work of Christ, not just emotion. I want you to send them out. I want you to engage your spirit in them. I want you to cultivate the habit of praying for a long time, praying in the spirit, building up yourself in your most holy faith. So on our YouTube channel, you will find a lot of resources that will help you. And also the teachings will really, really help you. For example, the last Wednesday teaching two days ago, the life of the teaching of the New Testament talked about the person of Jesus Christ. Jesus as a man. The man Jesus, the deity of Jesus, you know, the ministry of Jesus Christ and the placement of Jesus. You know, this will help you a lot in reaching your knowledge of God and the, the light you will walk in. All right. Till I see you on Sunday in church, I want you to be strong in the Lord 
and in the power of his might. The Lord bless you. The Lord keeps you. The Lord makes his face to shine upon you. The Lord be gracious to you. Lift up his countenance and give you peace. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. See you later. God bless you.